Okay, what I'm going to show here today is a uh, Barracks device running the SIP Rava client. And that's the firmware that allows you to bring in another device into the Rava communication with the Crestron Rava firmware and panels. Again, right here I'm using a Barracks Anunsicom to do this. Um, and what I've got connected to it is an 8 ohm speaker and an Electet mic. Okay, if you look at the data sheet on the Anunsicom, you'll see, okay, there's a mic output, a speaker output, and then there's uh, two contact closure inputs and a relay output on those pinouts there. Um, that mic is set to be like a 2.7 volt DC bias mic, and the speaker is just for an 8 ohm output to a speaker. Now, you will notice that there's a line in and line out pinouts as well too. Um, if you want to um, send the audio either from the microphone or to the speaker, if you want that to be a very long distance of wire, you're gonna have to perhaps use that line in and out for your audio and then use some kind of preamp box to send the audio that far, okay? Because um, right here, I, I've got just like, uh, on this one here in the Nunsicom, I've got the 100 has 2 watt power to the speaker, the 200 has 8 watts of power to the speaker, and again, if you have to go much further on the wire or you need much more power than that, then you'll have to use the line in and out. Um, both the 100 and 200 have relay outputs. If you do not even need a relay output, and all you are going to do is use um, this device, the barracks box, to bridge the audio into Rava. Um, then you could probably use just an Anunsicom 60 like I have here that has no relay output. It does have a contact input, okay? And what I'll show here, I've got a couple wires set up to the contact input. So just like someone's pressing a button, I'll cross these two wires, okay? And see, it will call the panel. And I'll answer on the panel. Ho, ho, ho. And you'll have a two-way conversation. And then I can hang up. Um... Now within the firmware of this Rava device, let's see, here it is. Okay, that's what the Rava firmware looks like on the device. I have it again, this intercom set up to be a door station. So you see if you hit a code, uh, it'll unlock the relay for one second, okay? And you have different settings there you could change. Um, and the audio, you'll see I've got Eula, I'm using that codec. Um, there's a microphone gain and a volume speaker on the settings. And there's also acoustic echo, echo cancellation and full and half duplex. These are all settings we can help you with, and I'll put the contact below. If you're going to do any of these applications where you want to bridge audio, uh, either from a new intercom or an existing intercom system, and into the Crestron Rava, I would just suggest that you contact us first and describe the application, how far the wiring is from the speakers to the mic, and then we can put together the solution, again, here to whether you need a relay or not, if you need a relay output or not. Um, and then we can help you set up the solution you need using the barracks box. Um, for instance, on this one here, I have it set to be uh, Crestron ID number three. And again, this is all in the settings that you can find by uh, the firmware. You'll get the manual up here at the, uh, you go to the download section in uh, barracks.com, and then you'll find the firmware documentation for Rava right here and it gives you all the data down here okay the manuals and how to set things up and again we can help you uh, do that very quickly if you contact us for help and you'll see here i'm going to call crestron panel number three okay i put in a three now i'm going to hit call hello hello see the, the intercom just auto answer this barracks intercom is set for auto answer boom i hit the relay right there I'm going to hang up because I'm getting feedback here because I have both systems right here. One of the things to notice when you're going to have a double open air conversation, okay, is that on the Crestron, it appears as though the speakers are kind of embedded in the back here somewhere, and the mic is on the lower front end. You see that little notch out right there. I believe that's the microphone input for this panel. So you're going to want to talk within an arm's length of this panel open air to this intercom panel. And same thing here, you'll probably want to be within an arm's length of speaking into the microphone. In this case, again, here I have an Electep microphone set on here, 2.7 volt um, is what the, uh, the mic input is set to on here. 